What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Christian Man Trucking, checking back in. Long time no see, long time no see. How everybody doing? I'm checking back in for my three-month rookie paycheck update. So, I'm going to try to keep going this. So, every every other month, so one month, three months, five months, seven months, so on. So, that way, just to give you guys a check-in and, and stuff about that, just to give you guys an update. So, currently we're in February. I believe it's like February 7th. So, this will be my checks from January. Uh, Cause January was my third month. The last time I gave you my checks from November. Um, so just to kind of give you guys an update. So uh, I just wanted to. So I guess I'll go ahead and start. So uh, for my first check that I got in January, um, I ran 1,442 miles, and that's cause I went home. Uh, just so you guys go, you're like, what? He only ran 1,400 miles. They ain't giving no lows. That's because I went home. So the pay was before tax. Before taxes was 1,383. Then after taxes, it was a thousand and sixty dollars and ninety-seven cent. Now y'all probably wonder, like, dang, that's pretty high uh, for low mileage. That's because I got my bonuses. So uh, my bonuses kind of knocked me up because I only had like one or two lows on that check. Uh, no, I had like maybe yeah, I had like a a big load and then a small short load to get me home. But we do bonuses here at night. Um, so they give you a safety bonus. They give you a fuel bonus. They give you a mileage bonus. And then if you hit all three, they got something called a kicker bonus that boosts it up. So basically how the bonuses work, if you get a certain amount of miles that you run monthly, that and it's everybody that's, I guess, I don't know if it's all the night drivers or if it's just um, like the Nashville drivers. I definitely need more information on that. But then they got a range and you can go to every mile that you run. And if you're in the lower range, you get one cent. The high range, second cent. The next range, three cent. Next range, four cent. So like you get additional whatever. But um, I that's basically was my bonus from December. Uh, and I ran. I was in the top ten December and January. But in December, I ran ten thousand five hundred miles. So that put me in one of the ranges uh, where I can get basically. I got my fuel bonus and then obviously safety bonus is being safety keeping your points below i kept my points below and then fuel is just like you know following the fuel economy not you know idling too long different things like that which it was cold so i was running my bunk heater that's easy to run you know i think it's probably harder to get your fuel when it's hot like right now i'm in florida it's 80 degrees i don't got the truck on because i don't want it to mess up the audio but times like this is probably when it's hard to keep that fuel bonus that fuel economy low because you want to run the air because it's you hot you know what i mean uh but yeah and then the kicker bonus i still don't i need to get some more info in depth of what this is but it seems like whenever i hit all three bonuses the kicker bonus always kick in so that's the reason why that check was was there so but yeah i was i was one out of my terminal in nashville out the top 10 of the running eight miles i was in the top 10 in december and i was in the top 10 in, in january i'll show you guys a picture either to the left or the right of me i'll pop it up so you guys can see and i was a, i was rated a four-star driver and i think that's pretty cool with december being my second month solo so you know uh then my next check miles was 2542 um the pay was 1293 dollars and then I also got a layover pay for one day, which the layover pay was $150. And it totaled out to my uh, my check total to being $1,047.63. So that was pretty like a, I, I would say that was, was an okay week for me. That can be a pretty normal week of getting 2,500 to 2,800 miles a uh, while. That's what, what I call a slow week for me anyways, cause I like the gun. Uh, but I was in, I think I was in Nebraska or whatever up there yeah i was in nebraska because i got laid over uh because of and i guess for other reason when i went to nebraska it was a blizzard so it was hard to get in and get out so it was hard for me to get any loads or whatever but i mean i still cracked over a thousand dollars my goal when i got it to truck it to get twelve hundred dollars a check i seen maybe that's kind of unrealistic with what i'm making cents per mile to do weekly maybe but also a lot of people say this is around a slow time so i don't know i'll see as i keep going on but it seems like that thousand to eleven hundred is probably after taxes is probably the the best estimate range that i can give if somebody asks me like oh, what do you think you know what i mean uh but that's pretty cool then my uh next check mouse was 2516 the pay was one thousand two hundred seventeen dollars and eighteen cents before taxes 
Then after taxes, it was just $996.29. Now, I know those miles were so close from each other from uh, last month, and then I had that last check before that, and I had that layoff rate for 150 So you probably think, like, how did he get so close to that? It's because I... um. The because I did short runs uh, uh when I was because this week I was still stuck in Nebraska and I did short runs back from Nebraska and Iowa and when you're doing the short runs for night so night uh do something called a true pay scale so like the longer runs from you know 500 and zero to like I think it's like zero to like 300 400 you make more money so the shorter the run so I the runs was like there was probably like 60 70 80 miles close to each other so because they were so close i wouldn't get that many miles i made more money so that's pro that's why that check is closer so they do a true pay scale so the far the low goes so if you're doing a thousand a thousand mile load whatever is the lowest in your pay scale based off of your miles and experiences that's the lowest that you're going to make because you're getting the most miles so you're still going to make more money than a short mile but it's also the lowest so if you're running a short mile it's it's basically like a center to make it worth it because when you're a truck driver no if they tell you to drive and you're not local because i'm not local and they tell you to drive 100 200 miles that really ain't you don't you're like bro that ain't nothing you know what i mean nobody wants that you don't want those short runs so it's kind of a sense of i see to just get people to run those short runs so i didn't mind i was stuck in nebraska i just wanted to move anyway so i was like whatever you know i just take whatever we can get uh now my next pretty much miles was the for the last week or whatever in january i didn't count the other check it was pretty big i didn't count the other check because i got paid in february and i didn't count the other check at the very beginning because it was from december if that makes sense uh but the miles i got this time which is pretty much it is a normal kind of week for me on the end is i got 3826 miles so i usually get around 3000 and above typically 28 to like 32 but 3826 miles the pay was two thousand one hundred sixty six dollars and seventeen cent before taxes i also got a holiday pay of 250 dollars but after taxes my check was one thousand six hundred thirty one dollars and fifty cent so me personally i that was one of my uh biggest checks here uh also if you take away the holiday pay that still was like fourteen fifteen hundred dollars uh so it was pretty cool but that was one of my biggest check here and i liked it because it kind of showed that i you know, I got to run, and I really like to run. They'll tell you, like, oh, like I said, I'm going to show you a picture where uh, December I was in the top 10, then whenever they released the stuff for January, because it is the beginning of February, I was in the top 10 as well. So, and like I said, I think that's pretty impressive with the, we having so many night drivers and whatever, and out of all the drivers in my, in my terminal, a rookie who's only been solo two to three months is in the top 10. I think that's pretty impressive. It shows that I'm dedicated and really to run, in my my opinion. But, yeah, this is my video about uh, just another update about the checks you guys seen to like this video. Uh, just to give you guys the people that want to come tonight or want to get into trucking period or what type of money you can pretty much be making out, out here. So, I think that's pretty cool, making around four to $5,000 a month after taxes um and i'm still getting to go home like i want to so like that's pretty much something that's big for me i'm able to get out here and run i'm able to still see my son like i want to spend time with my family and spend time with my fiance and different things like that so me personally i think that's pretty cool uh you, you guys give me your opinion what you guys think about the video or think about the checks and i'm doing good am i doing bad what are you suggesting if you think about wanting to come join night the link is gonna be in my description for you to join. Come join if you have, if you have experience. Come join. You get a thousand dollars. I get a thousand dollars. If you don't have experience and you're a rookie, come join. You still get two hundred and fifty dollars. So yeah, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'm here to help you guys. And if you have any advice to give me, I'll take it. Cause like I said, I'm new to this. This is literally my me working starting on my fourth month. <laughs> so this is all new to me. Uh so I'm just taking it as one day at a time. But yeah, pretty much I just want to thank everybody for watching the video. Hit that like and that subscribe button.